Hey folks, Daily Lands Blog for the 28th of July, 2018. On the 27th of July, 2018, on the Daily Lands Blog, I, I went on a rant. And obviously I was very passionate and, and very moved and angry about, uh, uh, about funding in general. I mean, the specifics of what's gone on in Ontario with the pr progressive conservative government are, are not really that relevant. And I, I didn't pick on the PC government because they're PC governments, although I'm certainly apt to do that. Because as I have said, and I admit a bias going into this, that I lean left and that... Uh, um, I wouldn't vote conservative. But that doesn't mean that I think that there's more responsibility on the PCs than there would be on any liberal party, whether it be national or whether it be provincial or any municipal government. I believe that in this country, with probably a few exceptions, there are uh, almost no examples of governments that say, you know what? we got a major problem here and we've got to change it because people are dying, people are living in pain, and this is not acceptable in 2018. So, um, I don't know, but I'm sure that there's other areas where medicine uh, ignores problems. For instance, I went to my family doctor today and my family doctor took my blood pressure and my blood pressure was 220 over 105. Can you imagine? My heart rate was 163 just sitting there. I was sweating. I was out of breath. And my doctor, who's, who's a great doctor, said to me, you know, like, there's something really wrong with you. You appear to be really sick. I'm going to give you a referral for a cardiologist. So I called the cardiologist's office and they said, we can, you know, we need to see you, obviously. You're sick. And they gave me an appointment for nine months from now. So I'm looking forward to nine months from now going in and getting treated. If I survive, of course, because it's possible between now and then I could drop dead from what is obviously serious cardiovascular disease somehow. I mean, there's something really wrong with me, but I feel like, you know what, the system's taking good care of me because in nine months, I will get in to see a specialist. And between now and then, you know, I mean, obviously I'm debilitated and obviously I, I you know, I, I can't necessarily even work or do the things that I want to do. So I'll basically be bedridden uh, over the course of the next nine months. But that's okay because I know that nine months from now, there's a chance that I will get in to see someone who perhaps might have an idea about how I should be treated. And if that doesn't work, I could probably get a second opinion, which will take another nine months. So basically over the next 18 months, I could probably see a couple of doctors and then maybe start on a couple of medications that, you know, I mean, like they take a while to work, but that's okay. So you know what? I feel like I'm in, uh, in good hands here because when it, when it comes to heart disease, I mean, it's an emergency, but nine months, that's okay, right? Right? Right, Case? Yeah. Yeah. You know, I wasn't listening, and then I just started listening when you said your blood pressure. I was like, oh, shit, what's wrong with it? Sicknotweek.com, 24 hours a day, 364 days a year. We're here because, well, if you haven't figured out why we're here, then, then I got nothing to say.